Ooh, there. It is windy out there. Oklahoma. Hey, thanks for joining me. So today I want to talk about the one big thing that really drew me to Micro Four Thirds and to Olympus specifically. It's a feature that their cameras have that some other cameras have now as well, but I, I still think, uh, you know, Ohm Digital Solutions, Olympus, still has the, is the leader in technology in this. And what I'm talking about is in-body image stabilization, or IBIS, as it's often referred. In-body image stabilization is a really amazing technology. I want to link a video in the description down below where Olympus has, or Ohm Digital Solutions has, on their website, kind of a description of it, and some uh, samples. But the capabilities of, of this image stabilization are really amazing. The way it works is the sensor in the camera actually moves. So you can see your image sensor in the, in the camera here. And what's happening when you have to press the shutter button on your camera, that image stabilization turns on and that sensor is moving. And it's moving to compensate for your movement, right? So if you move the camera a tiny bit, it moves the sensor uh, to keep the image still on the sensor. Now, it's pretty amazing technology. It can move the sensor up or down, right or left, diagonally in both directions, and rotationally. Pretty amazing stuff. It's called five-axis image stabilization. On the current OM Digital Solutions cameras, it can do up to eight and a half stops, depending on the model, seven and a half to eight and a half stops of, of correction. And on older cameras like the CM5 Mark II, it does five stops. Now what that means, like for me with this camera, five stops, you know, there's a kind of an old adage that you should be able to hand or you shouldn't hand hold any slower shutter speed than the number that's the same as the focal length of the lens you're using. So let's say I'm using a, a normal lens or I have my lens set at 25 millimeter. The closest shutter speed to that and just the similar numbers would be like a 30th of a second. And so without image stabilization, normally you would say with a 25 millimeter lens, I shouldn't hand hold below about a 30th of a second. But if I add five stops to that, so I go from 30th to a 15th, to an eighth, to a quarter, to a half, to one second, now the ability to actually hand hold one second exposures is a possibility. I have seen demonstrations where people have done as much as four seconds, I haven't tried that, but I have many times uh, on this camera or on my EP5, which has similar stabilization, um, I'll use my 20 millimeter f1.7 Olympus lens, especially when I go to museums and places like that where it's kind of dark, uh, I can hold real steady. I've done a number of one second exposures that just turned out gorgeous. I mean, to me, that's such a game changer. You know, back in the old film days, you know, I could hand hold my Leicas because they didn't have a moving mirror. I could hold hand hold them easily down to a, with a normal lens, a 50 millimeter lens, down to a 15th of a second, pretty reliably. I could maybe get away with an eighth of a second if I really locked down solid, but I could pretty reliably do a 15th of a second. With um, these cameras now to be able to do a full second exposure handheld, that's amazing. And you know, it's a real game changer for things like macro or long telephoto lenses like you'd use for wildlife or birding, because even handheld, it can keep that image still enough that you can, you can get sharp pictures where you might not otherwise. Now. There's a big advantage that Micro Four Thirds has in terms of image stabilization over larger sensors like full frame. And here's the deal. You remember that 2X crop factor that, you know, all the full frame people tell you how your camera sucks because you have that 2X, that smaller sensor? Well, guess what? With image stabilization, it works in your favor. So, you know, for everything, there's good and bad. And, and here's the good. Because the sensor's half as big, you know, the image size of it, it only has to move half the distance to make the same correction with an equivalent focal length lens. So if you're using a 50 millimeter lens on your, on your full frame camera versus a 25 millimeter lens on your micro four thirds camera, the image sensor only has to move half the distance it would if it was full frame for the equivalent focal length because the image is smaller on the sensor. And because the sensor is smaller, it weighs less and therefore is able to move more quickly and 
you know, more efficiently. Remember, anytime you move something, you also have to stop it from moving. And that lighter weight sensor can move more quickly. It can stop more quickly. It can move more accurately. And so the image stabilization on Micro Four Thirds, in my opinion, is superior to really any other format. And Olympus, who's always been a leader in image stabilization, I believe has the best. So it's one of the reasons that I, actually it's the big reason for me, that I chose Micro Four Thirds and specifically Olympus cameras for that image stabilization. Um, you know, I, <clears throat> I can't tell you how many times I've, I've run into a situation where I needed to handhold something. I like shooting in, old, in museums and I like shooting, um, you know, at times sometimes when it's, the lighting's not the greatest and that image stabilization is just a game changer. So there's also a couple other features that that technology, that moving sensor technology enables. One of them is high res mode. And I've done a video about this. I'll link it in the description down below too. The high res mode, basically the sensor, it, put it in high res, res mode. It takes a picture, it moves the sensor a sub pixel amount, takes another picture and keeps doing that. It's like four times. I think some of the newer models even do like eight times. Um, but it moves that sensor a sub pixel amount and re-images that and then combines all those into one image to create a higher resolution image. Um, I think on the 16 megapixel cameras like this, you end up with like a 24 megapixel image, something like that. And it's really good for things that are static. You gotta be on a tripod, but things like architecture or still lives or landscapes, things like that, it really is amazing. I like using it for uh, digitizing my negatives with a macro lens, put it in high res mode, and you know, I've got the camera on a copy stand and it'll create higher resolution images of my film negatives. It's pretty cool. So that's helpful. The other feature is handheld starlight mode. And I'm just beginning to play with this a little bit, but basically what the camera does has nothing to do with stars. It's not for doing like astrophotography. It's about low light level where you would normally have to crank your ISO up really high and then you'd get noise in the image. What this does is allows you to use a higher ISO and it takes eight pictures really fast. And those eight pictures then are combined into one. And because it's taking a picture, moving the sensor, taking a picture, moving the sensor, basically when it combines all those, it eliminates the noise. And so you can do low light level pictures, you know, scenes at night scenes and things like that um, with, little or no noise. And so that's a cool feature. Um, only the older Olympus cameras have this, and I say older. Um, I'm not sure what all models have it, but I know my EM5 Mark II has it. Uh, there's some other models in that time frame when this was made that have it, but it's called hand handheld starlight. So it's kind of a cool feature. Um, you know, and you combine all this in-body image stabilization technology with the current sensors that are used in their current cameras. You know, the current cameras, and I haven't purchased a uh, OM Digital Solutions more modern camera yet. I probably will at some point. Right now, the CM5 Mark II is really delivering everything I want in needs of, you know, in need in terms of image quality. But I know some of the new cameras have some really amazing features. So I'm, uh, the more I read about them, the more I'm thinking I'm going to probably have to go down that road at some point soon. But the new cameras have a stacked backside illuminated live MOS sensor that is pretty amazing. With that technology, you get enhanced speed. Uh, the sensor is capable of capturing 120 frames a second on their newest cameras, um, has better light gathering and therefore low light capability with less noise, more dynamic range. And so it really closes the gap between bigger sensors like on a full frame or APS-C and micro four thirds. Now that technology is really making the difference a lot less significant. And, you know, Olympus says basically that they've they've got a place where they're at an, a blend of image quality and speed that's perfect for wildlife photography and birding and macro and things like that, where you need to be able to take images quickly. And, you know, the, the capability of the sensor gives you great image quality. The in-body image stabilization helps, you know, keep things steady so that the images are sharp. And um, so that's, that's kind of where Olympus is at with that right now. And, you know, and their current sensors are like a 20 megapixel sensor. Um, I know there's cameras out there with much higher pixel counts, but there comes a point where, yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing there's points where if you're making a big enough reproduction of your image, 
you know, if you're shooting things that are going to be blown up to billboard size or something, then you probably want and need that kind of high pixel count. But for most people, it just clogs up your computer with a lot of lot bigger files and takes a lot more time to process the images. And, you know, for most photographers, it's just not that much of a benefit. And even 16 megapixels creates beautiful images that I can print as big as I want to, and they look gorgeous. You know, and, and I've mentioned this before, when I first started using digital cameras back in the, what was that, early 2000s, um, we were using Fuji S2s. I worked at a photo studio. We used Fuji S2s for shooting weddings, and they were six megapixel cameras. And from those six megapixel images, we made gorgeous 16 by 20 prints. I mean, they looked fantastic. And so, you know, how many pixels do you really need? Anyway, the in-body image stabilization is the one really big thing that drew me to Micro Four Thirds and to Olympus specifically. And it's why one of the big reasons I'm going to stay with this format. I just have really benefited and really love that technology. And like I say, I believe that uh, Olympus, now OM Digital Solutions, is the leader in that technology. Anyway, that's I just kind of wanted to put that out there. It's, it's the one thing that when I studied about mirrorless cameras before getting into them that I really was drawn to. Um, I saw the image quality. I love that idea of the image stabilization. It works with Olympus lenses and the Panasonic lenses and the Panasonic Leica lenses and vintage lenses and third-party manual focus lenses. It, you know, it works with really any of them and enables you to really be able to use the camera in situations where you might not be able to otherwise. Anyway, that's it. I hope some of that was helpful. If you have any thoughts or questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you. And as always, thanks for watching.